This is Higher Homework, it's paper B and uh, what we're looking at is question 6 in the calculator paper. Right, let's see what we've got here. So we've got uh, a closed wooden box in the shape of a cuboid is constructed from a sheet of wood of area 600 centimetres squared. Okay, so the, the base of the box measures 2x by x and the height of the box is h. Right. So going on to the question, part A, assuming the thickness of the sides of the box are negligible, uh, show that the volume in cubic centimetres of the box is given by this formula here. So in this formula what I can see is that there's only um, kind of x kind of values that are in there, there's no h value. So if I had started part A by looking at uh, the volume of the box is equal to the length times the breadth times the height, then what I could have in there would be 2x for the length, the breadth of the box would be x, and then what I'm doing is for the height, I'm still timesing it by h, but I don't have an h in here, so really I need to replace the h with something else in terms of x. So when I look back up at the question here, what I can see is that I've been given the area, and usually when you read this type of question, it's an optimization question, then I would look back there and ask, well, well why have I been given the area? And obviously, I've been given it to try and work out something from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and work out the surface area of the box. And I'm going to substitute in the 600 as the area. And I'm going to have h equals in terms of x. So let's go ahead and do that first of all. So I'll go up to the top of the page for this one. Right, so if I just drew out very, very roughly. And I just draw out the, the box. Okay, or the cuboid, and just drawing a net of a cuboid out here, very, very roughly. So I know that that's going to be 2x along that way. I'll call that the height, so that must be h. This bit will be x, x here, and all the way down, so this is going to be h, that will be h. This one here will be x, this one here will be 2x, obviously, and uh, so on. So that'll be x, h there, and h, h and h. Okay, so, so that's the box kind of unravelled and really what I'm interested in doing is working out the surface area of this box here, so let's go for that. So the, the surface area is going to be equal to, and let's look at all the rectangles that make that up. So what I have here is, I've got 2x times x, so that will be 2x squared, plus I've got another one, I've got another 2x squared here, so where are we? So this one here, 2x times x, that will be plus another 2x squared. I've got 2xh somewhere, so let's see, 2x times h will give me the area of this part here, 2xh, and I've got two of them. And if I look at the, uh, the bits that we've just folded down at the sides, I've got x times h for the area of that one, so that will be plus xh, and the area of that one, plus xh. Okay, so and then I can just gather them all together and get them into a better form. So that's going to be 4x squared plus 4xh when I gather them, and I've got a plus 2xh at that side. Gather these guys together as well. And what I'll also do is I'll take that 600 there, and what I'll do is I'll substitute that in up here, because that's the area. Okay, so 600 is going to be equal to 4x squared plus 6xh. Right, so what I'm now looking to do is to change the subject of this formula here to h, and then I'll be able to substitute that into the working that I've got down below when I try and work out the volume. Okay then, so let's go for that and try and leave h on its own. So I've got 600 over on this side here. What I'll do is I'll bring this 4x squared over, and I'll subtract that from this side. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll divide by the 6x and that should leave h on its own, okay? So therefore, what I have is h is equal to 600 minus 4x squared over 6x. And what I can do is I can just, um, I'll just divide throughout by two, just to simplify that down a bit. So I've got 300 minus 2x squared all over 3x. Okay, so now I've got h in terms of x, and what I'll do is where I've got h in the volume formula, I'm going to substitute this part of the, the equation in. Okay, so let's go back down to the bottom. Right then, so here we go. So we're going to start here. 
Remember I started with the volume, the volume of the box, because I have to show that it equals this here. So length times width times height, 2x times x, and then times that h. So now let's go and substitute that one in for h. So it was 300 minus 2x squared all over 3x. Now I've got everything in terms of x, and that's the volume. So that's going to be my volume's going to be equal to that now. Okay, so um, that really doesn't look like what I have to, to uh, get it into in that form there. So I did need to do a bit of manipulation and multiplying out to try and get it into that form. So what we'll go for is we'll just multiply all of this here as h by the 2x squared. And we'll see what we get from there. So that's going to be 600x squared minus 4x to the power of 4 all over, and we've got 3x on the bottom there. Right, so let's split that, and we'll go for 600x squared all over 3x, minus 4x to the power of 4, all over 3x, and now we're getting a bit closer with that fraction that's there, but still not there uh, completely yet, and what I'll do is I'll just uh, divide through by, well I'll divide by 3 here to try and get this one here, so I've got vx is going to be equal to 200, x, so good, I've got the first term here, and then what I'll do is I'll go for minus, and there's 4 thirds, and that x and that one there will cancel down to x cubed, and that's me, me got it into the form that I've been asked, so that, that's part A complete there. Okay, if I really struggle to get to part A, then what I can do is I can go straight to part B by starting with the equation that's uh, been given there for this type of question. Okay. So what I can do is I can then first of all just write down the equation and we'll go ahead and we'll we'll go through the working for that. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do here for part B is when I'm going to calculate the value of x for which the volume is a maximum, an optimization type question which involves uh, differentiation. Differentiation and uh, setting the uh, dv by dx to, to zero. And from there, what I'll do is I'll try and work out some, some values of x and use a nature table to, to show that it's a, a maximum. Right, so here we go. Let's uh, differentiate. So I've got dv by dx is going to be equal to, I've got 200 here, minus 4, and that's going to be uh, x to the power of 2. Once I, sub, uh, I differentiate this part out here. So for stationary points, I know that... Uh, dv by dx is going to be equal to 0, so there I'll just substitute that straight in there, okay, so 4x squared. What I could do is divide by 4 first of all, and what I'll have left is 50 minus x squared, and what I can see is that could be a difference of squares that I've got there, so 0 is equal to, that'd be root 50, root 50 there, I've got an x there, an x there, and 1's a minus, 1's a plus, so if it was a difference of squares. Or I could have taken the, the x squared over that side and taken the root of 50. From here, what I can see is that x is equal to root 50, or what we have is uh, x is equal to minus root 50. Okay. So at this side here, this is not a solution. It's not a solution, as the, the length cannot be negative. Okay, so I've got one solution coming out here, okay? And what I can do with that is I can simplify it down a bit. I can just simplify the third. And what that would give me is a value of 5 root 2, okay? Right then, so, so let's go ahead and get this, uh, show that uh, it's going to be a maximum. Right, so first thing I'm going to do is just set up a nature table. So if I set up the nature table here, what I've got is I've got values of x here. So I'll go with uh, the root 50 that I've got. So I'm just going back up, and that's going to be that value that's there, root 50. So a value that's less than that, and to see what the curve is like coming towards that, let's go for a value of 5, okay? Because root 50 is going to be 7 point something. So, okay, and 10. And if I'm not sure of that, I can just do it in the calculator to find out where that lies. Over here, I'm going to be working out the uh, dv by dx. And what I'll use is, I'll just use that part of the equation there. So that's just going to be 50 minus x squared. 
and all I'll do is substitute the values in to find out whether they're positive or they're negative. So if I put in a, a root 50, that's going to be 50, so 50 minus 50 gives me 0, but I already know that's 0 because I stated it at the start. Substitute a 5 in, so a 5 in there would be 5 squared would be 25, 50 minus 25 will give me a positive number and it's 25. If I substitute 10 in here, that's going to be 100, so 50 minus 100 is going to give me minus 50. Okay, so that's a minus. So I would know the shape, so if I want to look at the shape of the graph, so the graph that's a positive, that's flat there and then a negative, so that there is working out to be a maximum. So what I can state there for, for B part 1 is that, um, let's make sure that it's on the screen, so the value of x for which the volume is a maximum is x equals, and I'll just say it's the simplified form, so it's 5 root 2. Okay, and then uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be looking at uh, part 2. Part 2 is asking me to find the maximum volume of the box. So all I'll be doing is substituting into the equation that we've given up above. So for part 2, what I'll do is I'll substitute the value of 5 root 2, whatever I've seen x. Okay, so what we're going for is 200. I'm just using the formula that's been given, times 5 root 2. Subtract from that 4 over 3, and that'll be 5 root 2. And that's going to be cubed from the formula that was given right up at the top. So from this one here, that's all I'm substituting it in for to find out what the maximum will be. And from there, what we'll go for is just multiplying that out. So that'll give me 1,000 root 2 minus 4 over 3. That'll be, if I cube that, that'll be 125. And that will be root 8 that will be there. And, well, all I had to do was really just put that into my calculator and work it through. And what that would be is 942.8 centimetres, and it's cubed. And that will be to one decimal place. And that's the, the question complete. Right, let's look at the marking for this type of question here. And let's see what we'll go for. So, first of all, I'll go for one mark for getting H in terms of x. So that'll be one mark here. Okay, one. I'll go for a mark for, let's see, so I'll give two other marks in this area here. So what I'll do is I'll get uh, one mark for getting the answer correct here, but making sure that I show how I got that uh, worked out. And I'll go for another mark for, let's go for, let's go for substituting in here. Let's take for this mark here. So that's the three marks for part A. For part B, what I'll be looking for is a mark for differentiating, first of all. So there's my first mark. I'll get one mark for setting dv by dx equal to zero. And I'd like to see zeros kind of on the way down there. One mark for getting x is equal to 5 root 2, simplest form. One mark for setting up the, uh, the table, okay? And calculating that through with the correct calculations and uh, stating that uh, the value of x for which it's a maximum is 5 root 2. And then finally, for substituting into the formula correctly and getting the final mark that's there. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 3 marks for part A, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 marks for part B, so a 10 mark question here. So. That's the, the question complete.